we should talk about, which is how to make, uh, how to change the style of your document. Okay, so uh, if we wanted to change the style, so let's just open this back up in TechShop. Now, in principle, I could just change the name of this uh, to be some style file, which is provided to me by some other program. So for example, I could change this to, I think report is maybe a thing in LaTeX. Yep, so you can see it, it automatically changes the style to be a report instead of an article. And it gives me slightly different layout. Uh, you can have a book. You can see it's sort of same thing again, it's slightly more structured like a book. You can see the odd and even pages are formatted slightly differently. But the main point is it really shouldn't be me that's doing this. It should be controlled by this class file, uh, which is the name of the first thing at the top here. So there are commands. So for example, if I want to do something simple, I could use the geometry package. And then I could say like geometry margin equals two centimeters. Okay, and this would give me, you know, change the, the margins on my page. So if you want to do something basic like that, then it's just about acceptable to use the geometry package if all you're doing is say changing the margins. But what would be better is to actually make my own style file. So rather than relying on this article class, uh, it would be better to write my own style file that gave me the style that I wish for. And so I keep my LaTeX document with the contents of the document. And really I should put any kind of style commands into this, uh, this kind of, well, this, the new class file, which could start from the article.class. All right, so I'm gonna just go through that in the next video. But this is basically all you need to write a, a nice looking scientific report in LaTeX. So that should be enough to get you started. Now, just a final thing then is uh, if I was doing this online, now obviously uh, most people these days use Overleaf. So if I log into Overleaf, nope. Then I could simply say uh, new project. And if I say blank project, uh, I could give myself a project name, like report, create. And you can see it has all of the elements that I just uh, described to you. Um, all it does on Overleaf is does this stuff automatically. So if I just uploaded, uh, all the files here. So if I select my computer, uh, so I want my report.tech, report, uh, I want dan.bib, I want the BST file, graph.pdf, macros.sty, and I upload all of these into Overleaf and delete this one, which is the one that they gave me. And you can see that I have exactly the same content now in Overleaf, except I want graph.pdf here, because that's the one I uploaded. Okay, so you can see exactly the same thing now in Overleaf, uh, which is just an online version of everything that I did in the terminal here. So Overleaf is just a nice uh, online way of doing this, uh, but it's nothing fancy. It's just an in-browser version of, say, TechShop. It's just a text file on the left here and the PDF file on the right and it's executing the PDF LaTeX command in the middle. All right, so that's really the magic. Uh, so there's one thing left to do, which is this how to write your own class file in LaTeX. I'm gonna cover that in the next video.